Salt Lake City, if you've seen us before, you know we always like to do a big, crazy finale. But I'm gonna say something first, that's all right. Salt Lake, in the 18 years we've been a band, one thing has been constant. There's always been some people who absolutely fucking hate us. No, it's true. I remember back, <laughs> back in high school, there were some kids that uh, created this sort of anti-AJR club. It's, it's actually what they called it, and they would meet at lunch, and they would kind of just talk about how bad they thought the music was. And I don't know, maybe it was like the Broadway kind of sound we had. I really don't know. But at the end of the day, it made us feel really small. Fast forward 10 years, the band started to do a little bit better. We had meetings with record labels, and all of them said the same thing. They said, eh, I'm gonna put you in a room with writers. I'm gonna change everything about you. Even today, Salt so Lake, it's kind of hard to escape. You know, it feels like everyone on the internet has some kind of opinion about the things that we do on stage or the weird topics we're writing songs about. But every step of the way, every step of the way, Salt so Lake, there's been one thing that's kept us from listening to those people. And that, Salt Lake City, that was our dad. It, yeah. Even up until last year, it was our dad who said, keep going. Keep going, and eventually, one day, you will find some people who see the world the same way you do. He, he was right. And now, he's gone. In an instant, he's just not here anymore. And my dad had his flaws, but one thing I could say about him is he was really, truly, unapologetically himself. Every inappropriate joke he made at dinner party, every time he embarrassed us by wearing AJR merch to a parent-teacher conference, he was being truly himself. And on his last day alive, we were in the hospital, joking around, saying goodbye. We asked him what his biggest piece of life advice is. And he said, don't ever spend one second of your life not being yourself. Go be the biggest version of yourself. And it's a scary thing to do. But I'm going to say something right now that I wanted to say for a very, very long time. Fuck those high school bullies. Fuck those record labels. Fuck the internet critics that don't give up or do it up here. For the rest of our life, we're going to stand on this stage, walking on treadmills, bringing shadows to life, singing our weird songs. Because Salt Lake City, after 18 years, we finally found a room full of people that see the world the same way we do. This life is really, really short, guys. It's way too short to not be the biggest version of yourself. Oh, shows me whoever that is. I could just be and not give a shit. Hey, I'll be whatever makes you fan. Cause I don't know who the hell I am. I think it's too late to figure this out. If I could be me, I would have been in by now. Maybe I'm a stone. A pig is my house. It looks like our town is running out So if this is me, then I'll do my best I'll take on the 